This is a realistic paint studio. And I have no idea how to paint with watercolor. <laughs> this is a new and very interesting app from the creators of Paintstorm Studio, which if you've been following this channel for a while, you guys know that I've been using it forever before I switched to iPad because it is pretty much the best app for my needs. And same as Paintstorm Studio, the realistic paint studio heavily utilizes your GPU, meaning the performance and the uh, level of effects is very impressive. Now, keep in mind, this is not an app to replace your Photoshop or Paintstorm Studio or anything else, pretty much. This is a thing of its own and it should stay that way. At least that's the way the developers see this. But before I continue, I want to mention that today's video sponsor is Wingfox, which is English for Yahoo. In this 8-hour course, your new lecturers who have rich experience in game environment illustration and who are authors of mind-blowing artwork will guide you through a rich journey of basic knowledge and professional tips in creating beautiful environment illustrations. You will learn how to set up Photoshop, what to actually do with your brushes, how to work with any types of perspective, how to cast precise shadows, build stunning compositions using classical and advanced approaches, choose realistic and impressive lighting, and how to work with values and color. And most importantly, at the end of the course, you will get six separate full practical demonstrations with different types of environments. Right now, before the tutorial is released, it's available at $49 with a $10 discount coupon. So if you're interested, make sure to check out the affiliate link in the description before it jumps to its real price of $79. Now back to the video. First of all, you can't create your own fully digital brushes or something like that. You can only use real tools. And when you're creating a new document, you choose whether you want it to be a drawing, a watercolor or an oil painting. So if I choose an oil painting, then I choose the type of canvas. And not all types of ratios are available. It's just this. <laughs> so I don't know, let's go with this. Oh, there's, you can also have a little bit of an underpainting or whatever that is, like a base. And yeah, these are your colors. You can switch between sets like this, but I also really like the fact that it's like limited like this. So you can work with just this limited gamma for your artwork, which is actually a good practice for a lot of the time. Yeah, you can zoom out to look at the picture like this. I'm actually actually in love with this. Even though it breaks everything about what I like, my best drawing apps for usually, this is very different. This app is specifically designed to work for traditional artists. You can see there is not a single word or a term anywhere. You can just see that this is the brush you're working with. You tap on it. Here's your selection. No need to describe anything with words. It's just the way your real studio would look like. I mean, I assume I've never had anything like that in real life. Now, a couple more things to keep in mind. You can set your own canvas resolution, but even that doesn't really matter because you can't actually export your artwork as just a clean image that you painted. Allow me to demonstrate. So let's say I have this awesome artwork going on in here. And this is the button to um, share your artwork with the world. And it will look like this. So pretty much this app is supposed to fool people on Instagram that you actually painted something on a real canvas or on a real paper with watercolor or in a real art book with uh, pencils or ink or a whole bunch of other stuff this thing has. And you could choose from several different setups right here that will render your painting into different different scenes like this to make it appear like a legit thing. So this app is just full of experience you get and you share with others. To be honest, the way this app is very immersive, 
I don't really care about anything else. Like, I do like to paint my stuff in like super high resolution, but in the end of the day, I just share it on Instagram or something like that. Isn't this what I really need? <laughs> like, I'm not switching to this with my, like, like I'm not gonna finish Black Widow in this app or anything. By the way, you can't even import any kind of artwork or image into a layer, into realistic. You can only use it as a reference the way I did in the beginning, you saw that. And that's a reference layer you can't even pick colors from it so there's a lot of like real world limitations that are put into this which is honestly coming from the developer of painstorm studio we already have that same as we have a bunch of other apps that do all the stuff that we actually need you know and this is just doing something different something extra so yeah when you uh, press export it will save this image it's about 2k resolution something like that so more than enough for social networks or something like that yeah also there's a color wheel but I don't even really like using it. You can change the size and whatever. And uh, one thing though to mention, which is really cool about this app, is that uh, the color wheel is showing you how colors are not exactly traditional colors from any other app. It's using what I believe to be an LAB color space. I think this is what's called LAB, where dimensions of colors, they work not exactly the way RGB works, and it's a bit closer to like real exposure and overexposure nature of colors. So if you paint around with a really bright thing, it sort of blends between like in here is between red and yellow when it becomes less opaque. Like maybe uh, this color will be more obvious. You can see how the color is actually, yeah, there we go, a lot more rich. There's very saturated pink color showing through. That's because this color I chose. It's not blue, it's not violet, and it's not magenta. It's this dimension that goes from dark blue to bright magenta always so it memorizes it in the pixels on the canvas there is more to it than just rgb and the app only works in this mode like colors always blend in this more of a as developers put it natural way i mean i guess it's more natural if you choose really bright colors they should have this kind of blending but i don't think like in a normal set of colors right here that you would be able to find a color that would be that saturated or something they're usually below that overexposed edge which is the way they should be probably because normal oil paint doesn't really do all this flaming thing Oh, and a final note that will make this whole thing much more interesting for most of you guys is same as Paints from Studio, Realistic Paint Studio is 20 bucks. So there's that, it's a pretty cool thing. Like, honestly, I can see how, like, if I ever get time, <laughs> I guess, I'm really feeling, like, inspired just by the... Um, I don't know how to put it, the whole package, I guess, the the environment of it, the, the context of it, it's so cool. This is something I painted, by the way. It's like nothing, but I kind of like it as an abstraction. <laughs> and this is a very interesting deal, the fact that you get some kind of a different environment, pretty much. All apps are kind of the same, and they give you the same kind of um, neutral environment, you know? You have to really work with your head to get into the zone or something. But in this case, it kind of, you know, creates this world for you. It's kind of cool. And of course, the biggest deal here is probably the technical... Oh, cool, a, a whole bunch of different types of paper in here, too. Oh, there you go, this is pastel. So yeah, the, the technical part is really good. Like, um, again, I'm not an awesome specialist in realistic paint or anything, but correct me if I'm wrong, but this is pretty impressive looking. And uh, what's interesting, this app is really focused on like simulating real tools and real paint. While there's not a lot of this whole play with like simulation of water and uh, blending oils and whatever, like blending, I mean, when it's like moving around, 
you know, with the like particle motion, whatever they do in the, in those other apps that I don't remember the names of. So here they are on the screen. They do that whole simulation thing. And there is not a lot of that in here. It just blends and like applies a whole lot of really sophisticated ways to distribute the paint all over the brush stroke that makes it look as the end result of an actual wet brush stroke. Really cool. And yeah, the colors blend in these beautiful colors. As you can see, like I'm choosing actually in watercolor, you see I'm using this really bright color and it's one of those highly exposed colors is the way I'm gonna put it, I guess. And they do introduce these rich, bright orange colors when I blend it with this, um, what is it? It's not maroon, I don't know what color this would be. But yeah, this is something you wouldn't ever see in an RGB engine when you blend colors around because you literally you wouldn't be able to select this kind of super bright yellow i guess that's the way to put it anyway here's a uh... Uh, some toilet paper to dry things around. I don't know how this thing exactly works. Does it memorize which pixels have like the wetness value that is high and then dries it out? Because after I dry it out a bit, it stops really pushing colors around. Or not really, I think it's kind of like an eraser plus blender. That's uh, the way you can think of this napkin tool, I don't know, paper towel toilet paper and this one is like a sponge it's much closer to being just an actual blender and yeah you have like a specific focused set of tools and all of them are really different they actually bring very different types of effects that really introduce different approaches in creating your artwork honestly i'm like super into this and it's really interesting but like if you have a kid, this is like awesome. <laughs> this is probably one of the best apps for a child. I think this is way more interesting for a kid uh, than like Procreate, I guess. And what's interesting, like it can go much further and you can actually create something legit while it's also very cool for children. I don't know, I'm just painting blood now. Yeah, how about this effect, by the way? Every time you pick colors from this watercolor thing, it, you kind of destroy it like that. And then you can like blend stuff in here, like to water it down. And then your brush stroke is really transparent. By the way, this is something I actually missed in this artwork I did. All of my strokes were really sharp, like dense. Like I, I don't need that in most cases here. I need to water it down, water it down again. Hmm, I'm not really sure how it works, okay? Is there a white watercolor? Yeah, there is. <laughs> I guess it depends on the tool, right? Like this tool, if I'll water it down, or is it more to just blend different colors? This brush is kind of cool, like it's really close to what I usually like using, but the blending part when you like press slightly is really strong and kind of satisfying too. Ah, I should put that away. I, I really feel like I want to use like real palette selection in here and not just choose any color digitally. It, it's just a part of experience. You don't want to use that wheel again. That's at least the way I see it. So yeah, there's salt as well. Um, that's something I've seen before. Pretty much is just throwing particles around. I guess, but they look kind of just the way salt would behave in watercolor. Yeah, there's some demonstration on the left and you can like replay it to see what each brush does. So this one just blends things around, adding water. Water. And yeah, you can uh, join in <laughs> and do your part as well. Wow, this one is really aggressive. Whoa, it's like with some kind of um, the thing that dissolves paint added to the paint. I, I don't know what that's called. <laughs> Interesting. The amount of weird stuff traditional artists have to go through to achieve their colors. <laughs> you poor bastards. I like this one a lot. It's kind of cool. You can add sharp stuff and blend things around. Real cool. Close to this one, but also with a huge radius difference. You can like really define silhouettes with this one. Honestly, one thing I miss when it comes to this kind of tools 
they really feel wet. Like, it gives you the feeling that this thing is wet right now. It's kind of cool. And one thing I miss is just to be able to literally have a glass of water tool in here. That would be just so cool. But again, that would head into the whole simulation thing and it would be more like a toy. But, I mean, Marilyn Manson used um, a glass of absent and he was splashing it on his watercolor paintings and that worked out pretty cool so pretty much to lighten things up i need to dissolve or use the the whole thing with the napkin right every time yeah watercolor you paint into dark like from light to dark only and you barely have the right for mistake wow this is kind of cool so yeah, anyway, th this is what the app looks like. It's 20 bucks. On the website, I noticed, um, since the developers gave me the license, I assume they also gave me this additional VIP content that costs an extra like 30 bucks. But that thing is like literally just this one set of tools that you get right here. These are like very special, unusual tools that I don't know, they are like elitist in a way or something. And some of them like paint with silver, adding like sparkles. So they're kind of interesting, but like you're not missing out on a lot. You're not buying a handicapped app if you don't buy this extra set of tools. I don't even think I'll be using these a lot. So yeah, they're like for a, a little bit of extra punch, I guess. They're like really expensive looking tools. And this one looks kind of fun but yeah they're like for decor kind of aspect i guess not really for achieving a certain traditional art style i guess so aside from that you get all of these tools right here so we have two types of pastel which are hard to recognize when there's just two little bits and that's it heart pastel i kind of expected these to break too <laughs> But I guess they they shouldn't really break, otherwise they would not work, you know. Yeah, pastel I think is the easiest tool to work with if you come from digital. These look a lot less saturated in here comparing to what they look like on the picture. That's at least what I'm uh, feeling when I apply these. So yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of a sacrilege here and continue my watercolor painting with pastel. Probably with soft pastel even. Interesting, I'm kind of picking up color from the canvas, but it's um, it's still a dark color, like really dark color in here. It's just that it's transparent. So when I pick it up and paint on it, it will appear really dark. So I guess the best way to start a painting with a, like a pastel, a drawing with a pastel, is to first cover everything with white. <laughs> if you wanna like have good blending of colors. So anyway, this is my like uh, quick layman review slash introduction to you guys of Realistic Paint Studio. A really cool thing, not really for work, but if you just like drawing and painting and you wanna just get as close as possible to just real tools in a real studio on real paper and canvases and stuff like that, this is a really cool thing. This is the perfect game for artists. I guess that's a really good way to put it. It's a game for artists. So yeah, tell me guys what you think. You can uh, download like a trial version and give it a try yourself if you like. But yeah, for now this is it. All I pretty much have to say. I'll just try to finish this thing over here right now. And I guess that'll be it. Bye!
Done. Nice. <laughs> well, this is the best one. 